Um, I'm here with another root word for you today. Um, it's a bound morpheme, which means what? Yes, it means it is not a word by itself. It has to be attached to things or it has to have things attached to it. OK, now I want I'm going to hold up just the um, there you are, look, you can see it. Just that one there, just the root morpheme. I want you to think about what that might mean. If you think about what we know about etymology, how it, maybe it sounds like something. Have a think what you think it might relate to. OK, I'm going to tell you now. So it is from the Latin populus, meaning a people, OK, or a crowd um, or a nation. So it's all to do with, and it actually it is, it almost says people really, doesn't it? You could figure out that popular actually related to people. OK, so all our words today have this in the middle um, and we are going to look at our morpheme grid and you're going to build your word sums. So um, get ready to pause the video as I put it up to the screen. OK, so um, let's see what we have. So I'm just having a look there. So um, as you can see, we've got three different prefixes here. We've got over, re and un. And the un goes with popular and the over and the re go with populate okay so we'll have a look at some of our words some so you can see there i've got popular at the top so we know that popular now means something where you know everyone really likes it um you say oh it's the most popular choice um and that basically means that um it's of the most people um popular um it comes from exactly that so it's basically of the people OK, so it's like the people's choice, isn't it? It's the popular one. So it's got that people bit in it. And from popular, you also have popularity. OK, so you can talk about the popularity. That is the so if popular is the adjective, popularity is the noun that goes with it. you can talk about someone's popularity. OK, um, we've got popularizing. So if you popularize something, um, you make it popular. And if you have popularizing, um, you can see there the e goes because we're adding the ing. Um, it just means you're doing it, doesn't it? It's that continuous form with the ing on the end. OK, so popularising. Um, there And then there we've got unpopular. Un meaning not. So unpopular, literally not popular, not the people's choice. Um, so they're all our sort of popular ones. Now we go on to the populate ones. So we've got population. Population. There we go. Population is the number of people in an area or a country, we talk about countries' population, how many people live there. So again, you can see that is relating to the people, isn't it? The number of people there. So population, there's my shun rule. Um, drop the E, add the ION. Why is it a T? Why is it a T, shun? Yes, it's because we have a T here for populate. And then we add the ION, so we get that shun there. Um, we've got populated. So um, we've got we would end up with the two E's there from populate and the ED. So we lose one of them for that past tense um, populated. And then we have overpopulated. So if you talk about an area being overpopulated or a country being overpopulated, it means that really there's too many people there for the resources and the facilities. So it's basically a bit crowded. Um, so you might hear that word overpopulated. That's about there being too many people in an area. OK, so overpopulated. Um, I've got, I'll, go, I'll miss that one out for a sec. We've got repopulate. So re meaning again. So um, repopulate literally means to kind of put more people in there again. So there was an area that was empty. Sometimes talk about this with animals as well in their habitat. So maybe um, some scientists or environmentalists or whatever are putting um, some birds in to repopulate the bird species of that area. Um, so repopulate to populate again. So to put more people back in there or more things back in there. OK, repopulate. Um, and then this one, populism, um, was sort of on its own down at the bottom because it just goes populism. This is a um, type of politics that basically represents um, the, the kind of the people, um, the people's choice. So populism is like a brand of like American politics, really, but um, spreading worldwide um, just around representing the mass people as opposed to the elite um, people with the privileges. So it's supposed to kind of represent the people a bit more, a bit like socialism, really. Um, 
but populism is a thing. And again, you could figure that out if you know that popular relates to the people. So that might be a word that you haven't come across before. You go, oh, populism. Well, I know population and I know popular. Um, so I can probably figure out that it's something to do with people. That's why words are brilliant. Um, so you are going to go and write your sentences now. So I want you to pick, mm, I'm going to let you pick today. So out of all the words we've done, um, pick one or two and see if you can pop them into one or two sentences, making sure you use them correctly and you apply your spelling rules. Try and use population if you can, it's a really good geography word. Okay, I'll be back tomorrow. Um, have a lovely day and good luck with your sentences. Bye.